We are with a lady here from GS United Women's Team. Um, it's Danielle Blair, is that how you pronounce your name? Yeah, Danielle Blair. Did I say my own name weird? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I understand you're the captain of GS United? Yes. Okay, I also understand that you um, play for Trinidad and Tobago? I did, yes. Retired now. <laughs> you, you retired? Retired, officially. Kind of young to retire. Um, <laughs> So when did you start playing? Age 11. Mm -hmm. um, went to university in Alabama and it was in Alabama that I joined the Trinidad and Tobago national team. So under 20 Trinidad and Tobago team. One of my teammates at university was actually on the Trinidad team and convinced me to join. So I left the Canadian program and went to Trinidad and Tobago. I've been playing with them or I was playing with them for 10 years and then just retired last year. When did you start with the Trinidad and Tobago program? When I was 20. When you were 20? Or ni okay, 19, well, 19. How was that for you? It was an awesome experience. Um, I got to play against uh, the U.S., played against Canada. Um, I've traveled all over North America, Central America, playing with the Trinidad team. Um, it was just a great experience to play against players of that caliber like you know Christine Sinclair, um, Carly Lloyd, Alex Morgan. So. Yeah, um, so so now you're with GS. What what um, what made you join GS? Um, and when when how, when did you join GS? So after I graduated university, I was looking for a club team to play with. Uh, didn't know any team or where I should go and. Johnny. Well, first of all, sorry for cutting you off. Yeah. You're from Toronto, right? Yes, from Toronto. Okay, we need people to know that. Um, so, you were living in Toronto while playing with Trinidad? No, I was living in Alabama. So I went to university in Alabama, mm -hmm. Birmingham, Alabama. was there for five years. That's when I started my career with Trinidad. Mm -hmm. And then after I graduated, I came back to Toronto in 2011. And still playing with Trinidad at the time. But once I came back home, I hadn't played in Toronto in five years. I didn't know what club team to play with. Mm -hmm. So Johnny called me one day. I guess um, he, That's Johnny. Johnny Williams. Yep. So Johnny Williams called me one day, said, I heard you're looking for a team to play for. Come play for GS United. And I was like, I don't know what GS is. I had never heard of GS at the time. And he's like, well, just come to one practice, and you'll know from there. So he, he picked me up, brought me to practice. Found out I knew half of the girls on the team. They're all girls I grew up playing with, mm -hmm. and then never looked back. And that was twenty eleven. Twenty eleven, yeah. Okay. Um, so that was your. I guess you were missing the game, or seeing that you're back here, you figure it's time to just keep occupied. Keep playing. I wasn't ready to hang up my boots yet. Oh, okay. Um, the all the the thing is, how was your GS experience? Uh, you know, I mean, you just mentioned the Trinidad and Tobago national yeah. experience. How was thus far? Um, well, I've been on the team for eight years since it started. Um, my GS experience has been amazing, which is why I'm still here. <laughs> Playing in Canada, I've never won an Ontario Cup, and I've never won a Nationals before coming to GS. Those are two of my biggest accomplishments, I'd say. Um, alongside playing with the Trinidad national team. There's very few people who can say that they've played for a team and they've won nationals. So, okay, okay and now how you get into the captaincy? When when did you become the captain of the team? Um, I've been on and off captain for the last couple of years. Uh, I think part of it is the amount of time I've been on the team, my experience, I typically lead the players on the team, I mm -hmm. guess. I've been sort of in that role for... By your play or by your vocal? I think a or little your bit knowledge? of... A little bit of both. Um, I I don't want to say I play most of the minutes. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would think that Captain does play most of the minutes. Um, what's in the so league you're in? Ontario Women's Soccer League. Ontario Women's Soccer League. And since you joined GS, you've been in the Ontario Women's Soccer League. Correct. You've been winning that league? Yes, every year. Every year, for the past eight years. Oh, okay, you've been rep you've been moving up and in the Ontario Cup, which is a provincial tournament here, and um, you won it 
is it the last six years? Last six years, yes. What do you attribute to that success? Um, I think it's the commitment from the team, the coaching staff. Just we I think we work harder than the other teams. We train twice a week. We're committed to playing and doing or trying to do what the coaches tell us to do. So I think that's what keeps us above where all the other teams are. Okay, so um, and you get that feeling after playing the teams or knowing them, you yeah. know? Well now at this point we have a feel for the opposition, we know a lot of the girls in the league, all the teams, the good teams are starting to get stronger because mm -hmm. it's a goal now is to beat GS and so, you know, we're a strong team, we play against strong competition and each year it gets tougher with those teams that we play against, mm -hmm. so it's more for us now about preparation and doing the right things in order to to go and beat these teams. Okay, the advancement Great. to the yeah. Ontario Cup is going to the Nationals. Okay, um, you won it this year, the National, yes. but you've been falling short over the period of time. Could you tell me now, having in this, now that you're in this glorious time and happy time now, winning the National, where you could what have fallen short? In the past five years before this? Yes. I think it's a lot of different things. Um, people who would come with us would know that we are capable of winning it every year that we went. Um, a few times we didn't go through based on goal differential. Like That's just how the tournament is mm -hmm. and how it's set up. A few times it's, you know, the ball is round and one mistake can cost a goal and you lose one nothing and you don't have an opportunity to go through the, to the finals. Okay, when you say you don't, you didn't go through based on goal differences. The way it's set up is there's two groups. Yeah. If you finish first in your group, you play for gold. If you finish second, you play for bronze. So if the top two teams are tied, they decide the first place team will go through based on goal differential. Mm -hmm. So I think Quebec twice has gone through on goals, and they once you finish first, you go to the gold medal game. So we're left with bronze medal. Okay, so how many times you fell short at the bronze medal? We've played for bronze three times, and twice we've won it. Okay. So our very first year, I think we came fourth and lost to BC. Um, and then there's two other times we played the bronze medal game and we won the bronze. It was so not based on quality or was not based on... No, I think at Nationals you have a core group of players. There's usually four teams, us, Quebec, um, BC, and Alberta, mm -hmm. that are always competitive. And you're always going to get one of those teams in your group, which in that year, you know, it's... It's not necessarily the strongest team always wins, whether we're stronger or yep. they're stronger. It's who's ready at that point in time. Um, I think that we are capable of winning gold every year that we've gone. Um, it's just been unfortunate. It, it's been a tough road, but I think finally now that we've overcome that, I see a lot more national championships down the road. Okay. And uh, <laughs> just before you jump there, you mentioned the word being ready. What was your mindset, the team mindset? You know, you led the team, you were the captain going into the season too, right? Yeah. Uh, what was your feeling going into the season after losing last season? Uh, in the Ontario Cup, did you meet the same team? Same teams, yeah. The year same, semi same semi finalists, same finalists. What was the scores last year versus this year? What was the margin of victory? Um, I think the semi finals were similar. We won. Last year, we won the final. Was final. It close? Semi final? Okay, and there, um, <laughs> is okay. at least one or two. I'll, I'll, maybe. I'll leave it as close. Yeah. Um, and on the the final, the final we tied. This That's year. what went into. We went into penalties, and I missed my PK. <laughs> yeah, but you won, right? We still won. What 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 part of the rotation you kicked? First kicker. Okay. I'm just gonna say she knew where I was going. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it seems so sometimes. They just pick a corner sometimes too, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, why? She's familiar with your your penalty. Yeah. It was also she's a really good shot stopper. So. Okay. I have to give her her credit. She made a good save. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you won again. Yeah. So now the yeah. Yeah. So what's the mindset now? The mindset is we have to be as ready as we can be in the next three weeks when going to nationals. Um, Johnny before has done sort of like a preseason, where we've pretty much trained, done fitness, worked on shape, and so we wanted that similar preparation going into nationals this time. And for the public um, information, 
I understand that there's a void after your season finish to get into the next competition, the national. Yeah. So you have to keep active when. Yeah, training. it's about three or four weeks on the women's side that we don't have any games. It's just training, pretty much. Yeah, no coverage. practice games or anything. Um, we organize two, I think, two practice games going mm -hmm. into nationals. Okay. We knew that we would get another opportunity to go. We knew that we would be going to nationals again. We all felt the pressure of this is the sixth time. I've gone six years in a row, some of us five, some of us four, but a lot of us have felt that feeling of we're so close or we should have had it and we didn't and we just couldn't do it again. Like, you know, after five years of going through it and not winning mm -hmm. and being so close, we knew that this year had to be our year. And I think having that in our mindset, um, there was just there was no way we were losing. So, We've had everybody come up to us and you guys are going to nationals or to nationals again, but when are you gonna win? And I think we got to the point where it's, winning was our only option. Uh, okay, so on what you on you won. Yeah. So anywhere <laughs> within the, the games I I got the results of the game. Anyway, I saw you won the first two, you lost the third one. And somebody said that you went in on goal difference or something like that? Yeah, so we lost the third one one nothing, due to a controversial penalty kick. Mm -hmm. um, and what was the status of the advancement then? Br bronze versus goal? What, so what? we were, it was a three-way tie. So tie between us, Alberta, and Quebec. We beat Quebec, Quebec beat Alberta, Alberta beat us. Um, it's a okay. three, three way tie. It's now goal differential within the three teams that are tied. And we had the better goal differential because we beat Quebec by more and Alberta only scored one goal on us. Okay. And, okay. So, so now you're in the final. Now we're in the final. For the, is, but that's the first time you're in the final? Yes. To see the once you get to, the, like, once we get to the finals, we're winning. It's getting to the finals, which is the hard part. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now you've been in a place you've never been before. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the team you're playing against. So who was that team you're playing? BC. BC. Yeah. Were they ever in the finals before? They were in the finals last year. So they have the experience with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you guys do any scouting on? Not much because um, we were focused more on getting through on our group. Mm -hmm. um, and again, Alberta's this next strongest team in the tournament. Mm -hmm. If we could play and compete against Alberta, then we can play and compete against the other teams. Okay, and how was the final? How was the final in terms of BC? How did, how did the opposition hold it was up? It was a physical game. Um, I think after playing three games, and now you're on to your fourth game in five days, um, the skill level isn't where it was at the beginning of the tournament, and we had a tough game the day before. Um, so it was really about the battle on the field and who wanted it more. It wasn't the prettiest game, but I think we still had more skill than them. We had more heart than them. We had more grit than them to to want to win that game. And so, you know, we had to adjust the first couple of minutes. But after that, I think we had more of the possession. What was the final result? One nothing. One nothing. One nothing. They scored first half, second half. Overtime. Oh yeah. Yeah. Overtime. So, okay, so you're going into overtime 0-0, zero, zero, obviously. What's the feeling? We're not, we're not going to PKs. We're winning this in regular time. And I think it was two or three minutes into overtime we scored. And after that it was give everything you got, don't let them score. And that's what we did. Okay. I've seen that you, you, you retired from the national team. Um, what's the continue playing club ball? Um, I want to retire, but um, I have injuries and stuff. Yeah, uh, I noticed you had a, a brace in the, one of the pictures. Yeah, so my knees are just I'm getting old. Um, I think the taste of getting one national championship makes me hungry for more. Uh, I do see a lot more in the future and I want to be part of that. So for me, GS is a family and it's hard for me to to leave that, just hang up my boots and stop playing because it's down the street for me, all my friends are here, I've been on the team so long that I've built a lot of relationships with all the teams that we, we have here at GS, all the coaching staff. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can give that up yet. 
Maybe two more and then I can retire. <laughs> so the three P then? The three P, yes. Uh, <laughs> is my okay. understanding now that you've been voted the MVP of the 2018 Canadian, uh, the national championship. Where does that, where does that go in terms of your personal accomplishments? Um, I would definitely put it up there as one of my top accomplishments. It's a tournament that represents all of the top players in Canada and then to be voted MVP for that I think is a huge statement on my commitment. I um, wasn't really expecting it and as a defender you don't usually get awarded the MVP award. So I've received MVP awards in the past but I think this one is special because it's our first national championship. I'm with Amy, one of the originals there, so it it's special to me. So, um, I didn't really even realize you were a defender in the first, uh, so what position are you play in the defense? Uh, center back, right back, left back. Okay, and what, you, what position are you played in that tournament? Uh, center back, left back, right back. <laughs> oh, you played all the positions? I think, um, yeah. Oh, okay. Some, I, I'm usually anywhere in defense, whether it's in the middle or on the outside. Okay, and um, in talking to the coaches, uh, as I mentioned, um, there's um, four plays of the tournament for GS women's team to win the national tournament of 2018. And um, besides being voted the MVP, I guess it goes with the same territory. This play was um, voted the play of the tournament for the club to win the national championship mm -hmm. after all those tries. Um, it is a play where you stop the goal. And um, I think it's it would be nice if you could explain that play. Apparently it was said that the play passed you and, um, and you didn't really give up on the play. And, and that's the whole theory behind this play. Mm -hmm. That's why I like this play. Is that now what happened? Can you did you see the play develop uh, or you actually remember the initial play when they passed you? Did you did the play develop before you or the play developed before and I saw it happening and I was out of position. Okay. Um so I think there's about Two, five, two to five minutes left in the game. Um, we had been dominating the second half, had opportunities to score. Uh, they had a PK that on a handball that wasn't a handball in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Our keeper saved it off the line and we cleared it out and the ref called encroachment. They took the PK again and scored. So we're down one nothing. Um, at this point we're exhausted because we are trying to get this win. Um, Johnny said specifically to us at halftime, do not let them score another goal. That's the only way that we can stay in this tournament. And so I was playing right back, and I think we had three in the back. And because of my fatigue, I was slightly out of position. So one of the girls had ran by me and they played a through ball. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was running and I was trying to pull her back give her some fouls or whatever to keep her from going but she, she has that was outside the 18 that, this is that outside the 18 so for, start, yeah. for a couple seconds she's in front of me but I'm pulling her to try and slow her down um, then she gets to the keeper our keeper comes out and I, I don't think our keeper gets credit for this but our keeper made her make a decision on whether she's gonna shoot or make a move and she made a move and cut the ball to her left and when she did that it gave me enough time to get in front of her and as she shot it I followed the ball out and ran into the post. So did sure. you actually block this shot close to her or intercept the ball from going into the net? I think I blocked it close to her and then I followed it as it went like this far from the, the post. So did you have much thinking to do with that or was it that you just didn't want to give up? Did you see the danger? I did you know it was going to end up? I thought way? it was going to be a goal. She was pretty much on a breakaway, um, despite the little bit of pressure I was trying to give her. I think I gave her enough pressure to miss the net, because after she had cut the ball left, our keeper's on the ground, mm -hmm. she has an open net to shoot, and I just tried to make sure the ball didn't go in. So, so okay, um, were you gaining on her, or when, when you were trying to grab her, 
Was she gaining on you? I was gaining on her, but then eventually, because she was in front of me, she's a very smart player, very fast. So she cut in in front of you? Yeah, she was cut in front of me, and so I couldn't get in front of her, so I was just trying to slow her down. Okay, so so she didn't do well by going left or...? or no, it's, or our, it's our keeper, so with the pressure that I gave, and then our keeper coming out and making her have to either shoot or cut, mm -hmm. she did the right thing by cutting, but it gave me enough time to get there and make sure that she didn't score. So part of the reason for that is we've been to nationals six times. There's two specific instances that I remember against Quebec where we got scored on in the last minute of the game, which kept us from going to the finals, whether it was goal differential. I think in both instances it was they tied the game to go through on goal differential in the one game. They scored at the end on a bobble in the box to go through, to beat us and to go through to the finals. And like I said before, we this is our sixth time going and we had no other okay. option but to win. Um, so. I really didn't know. All right. So I want to thank you again for coming in this second time and, and, and giving everybody the play of the tournament 2018 Nationals. Okay. All right. So I want to congratulate you and the and the government team for for winning the nationals. Um, I understand you guys are going to be having some celebration.